Okay. <laughs> so look who I'm here with. I found Mr. Watanabe. Watanabe sound himself. Yeah. And uh, it's been it's been great. It's my uh, second second week in Japan. Um, I've been staying uh, in Tokyo. It's been amazing. Waking up at stupid o'clock. Uh, I'm not allowed to go into the, the onsen, uh, the, the spa, the jacuzzis and stuff because I have tattoos, so I can only go there at night. Uh, they don't like tattoos in Japan at all, do they? They think I'm a... Well, what's the thing with, with, with tattoos? Is, do you just think it's like... Is it, well, impolite? Is it the Yakuza thing? Probably the Yakuza thing. Uh, so they don't like... They think you're going to be like a... Uh, I've never seen a guy in Yakuza. I don't know about you. <laughs> I mean... Uh, <laughs> Maybe I'll be the first, you know. I actually spoke to a Yakuza in 2008. I spoke to a Yakuza in 2008, really? yeah. Well, I was in a restaurant and we were talking about bikes. I asked him if it was his bike. He had a motorbike out front and he had a nice shirt on and everything. Uh, crazy hairstyle. And I was talking to him about his bike and, you know, he wasn't very talkative. But then he was asking about my eye. So he got someone over to, to spoke English. And then we were talking about what, what happened, it was very interesting. Yeah. And it wasn't until after I realized, because he was, he was saying to me, like, I told him what happened. This is a, a horrible night, right? But I told him what happened, and he said, uh, imagine, the translator said, uh, a boss man impressed, say, uh, if you do that for for stranger, what would you do for your brother? I was like, mm. But then after, after I went, he was, just scratching his neck and he had big oh, tattoos yeah. all around there. It was very interesting. So, yeah, I realized after that he was like a, one of these guys. But um, Osaka is like the home of, of these guys. Osaka oh, yeah, yeah. they're all, yeah. why, why Osaka? What, what, what's the deal? I don't really know, but... Have you ever seen these guys? Maybe. Yeah? <laughs> Somewhere around there. So what do they do? They just like... Uh, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> You're the expert. You're Japanese. <laughs> I don't. I don't really know about Yakuza, no. <laughs> I have. I want to know. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> okay, so forget Yakuza for a second. Uh, what's the What's the deal with like the bowing? Like the more you bow, the more respect you show. Mm -hmm. I feel bad when someone bows like that. I'm like, what? yeah, because I'm like, do I bow? Like, you know what he's supposed to do? I'm like, oh, yes. You know. It's so nice, you walk into a, any shop you walk into in Japan, and I was like, Rash, <laughs> Rash, <laughs> everyone, everyone yells at it. It's nice, everyone's very polite here. Mm -hmm. Like, extremely polite. And and it doesn't even seem fake, it seems real. Like, they really mean it. Mm, actually, like, I have to say how. Huh? And how, like, as a business, mm. they have to be polite. They have to. Yeah, so as I walk in a, in the furniture shop, so I did some things because the company mm -hmm. you know, won't us to do that, sure. to welcome customers. But it's so nice, even if you walk into a restaurant, like everybody in the restaurant, the chefs, mm -hmm. the, the bar staff, the, everybody is like, it's, it's nice, you know, uh -huh. you know cool. <laughs> it's really cool. Like, you, you walk in and everyone, whoa. The, the first time that happened to me, I was in Tokyo, and I was in a huge mall. And uh, went in a restaurant in one of these malls. I mean, there's so many restaurants in Tokyo. You can go to a different one every night, and you'll never get them all. Uh, and yeah, this uh, this walked in, and literally every member of staff, as we walked in, uh, my girl and I, who's like, yeah, I was just there. It's crazy. It's cool. But no, it, it seems to me all the people that I've seen so far, maybe maybe it's because I'm like a fairly happy person, I'd walk around with a sort of smile on my face. Uh, everyone seemed really like, and I went into like just Muji. I just went into Muji, like, because, uh, you know, Muji closed down in Leeds, and I went into one of those cool umbrellas that, that they have. I went to look for one of those, and everybody was like, super nice, super like, mm -hmm. you know. Mm. It's almost, um, it's almost too much. Mm. Yeah. It's like too much, it, it, mm. you know, sometimes. Well, for us, like, you know, Japanese people, Probably feel that too, you know, that's too much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of the people think. So. I think so. I can understand why. 
but everyone's just everyone's been sort of like like getting this strap for instance like I can it's a strap on a camera I can do it myself mm. but when the guy saw that I was trying to check so I need to check that it had this uh, that you mm. could put this on it this mm. bit as well as it fixing to this and when I was checking for that he realized what I was doing he took it out of the box he put it on the, on the camera he said would you like to finish yeah sure and he spent like 15 minutes like I said, you know, you put it on the wrong side at oh, first, okay. like a muppet. <laughs> so that's, that's when I said, oh my god, damning it. He's laughing so hard. So damning it means like useless, right? Useless. Useless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he found that very funny. I'm so glad that he laughed because when I was saying it, I thought, I realized, you know, that's he's a good guy, but he might have told me, like, it could mean something like, you suck, like, you know, you're really bad. Anyway, but yeah, like, went out of his way so, so much, and it's just like, I love it. I wish I've met I've met English people here that've lived here for like two, three years. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a little a little bit envious mm -hmm. because I want that. I want to live in a really different culture for a couple of years and absorb it. And really, you can't see Japan. You can't even experience Japan in two weeks. I say two weeks last time, two weeks this time. Mm -hmm. So four weeks in my life so far in Japan is not enough. You can't you can't you can't get an understanding. Mm -hmm. I think of it all in that time. You get a glimpse. But uh, I really want to see the real Japan, which mm. I think is west mm. of the mountains, you know, over the mountains, everything, like uh, Higashiyama, Fujiyama, all those, all these areas, mm. Kita, Hokkaido, mm. <laughs> that'll be good. And I'm not talking about Sapporo, I mean like Hokkaido, like, like in the north, <laughs> yeah, proper like Hokkaido, it's, that'd be cool. Have you ever been to Hokkaido? Yeah, once. What's it like? Oh, it's... It's totally different from, from Tokyo. Yeah, cool. yeah, it's really well. Hmm. How can I say? Uh, landscape is really like, huge. Yeah. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I really want to. Go. Well, I, yeah, don't be embarrassed. It's a camera. <laughs> well, you look good on camera. You uh, I like that. Hmm. Yeah, I think uh, hmm. it's. It's similar. Mm. It's fun. No. Atmosphere. Atmosphere. Hokkaido. It's quite similar to England. Yorkshire or no, no, some got some kind of thing. Like Yorkshire Dale. Yeah. yeah, Yorkshire Dale. Yeah. Uh, let's see. It reminds me of the Yorkshire Dale. Interesting. Mm. It's so funny you see hearing you talk about Yorkshire Dales. Mm. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I spent a lot of my life in the Dales. Of <laughs> yeah. uh, so, what do you do to stay? Uh, what, what do you do in your spare time? Mm. What, when you have your free time, you know, when you're not working, and yeah. you know, for you, I don't mean like with you with your wife, Aya. I mean like, uh, what, you know, what do you do in your spare time? What are your pastimes, leisure pursuits? Uh, recently, I'm doing kind of. <laughs> Alright, don't stop going. No, I, this is this is the Daisuke interview. This is gonna go. This is a very famous piece of footage. What have I done? Well, I'm just just doing some, you know, trying to. Um, no, I'm I'm doing kind of you know affiliate. 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 Yeah, building a homepage and you know doing some. So, yeah, I'm doing that. Hmm. Hmm. But isn't that just like work? Hmm? Isn't that like work? It's not actually work. It's, it's, it's your passion. Your passion. Yeah. Yes. Making money or something. Yes. Okay, but what what is it you're going to do with the money? Like, what will you spend the money on? What do you want no. to do with the money? <laughs> Giving me an idea. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Just traveling. Good. Good. Yeah. Traveling to Norway then, yeah? Hmm. Yeah. Please come to Norway. Oh yeah, definitely. Please, you definitely. know, you know, uh, must come to Norway. You know, it's very cheap. Is it? Unbelievable. Like, like, uh, my ticket from from Oslo to Bangkok mm -hmm. to Hong Kong, mm -hmm. from Hong Kong to Shanghai, Shanghai to Osaka, the mm -hmm. bus to uh, Tokyo, and then Narita back to Oslo. You know how much all that costs? I don't know, maybe like. No, no. Uh, well, uh, yeah, actually, no. That's not. That's not. That's not far off. Mm. Uh, no, less though. Um, we're looking at not even a thousand pounds. Maybe like like all of those flights. 
mm. in total came to about 800 pounds. 800? 800 pounds, everything. That's, I could, my flights from just Oslo to Bangkok mm. and then Narita back to Oslo mm. is 600, was 600 quid, mm. 610 pounds. Mm. Uh, and then I just booked internal flights, mm. like with, you know, uh, East, uh, East China Airlines. Mm. So yeah, it was really cheap on the whole thing. Um, and the accommodation has been staying in hostels and capsule hotels, so that's been really cheap. My average stay for the hotel was like 15 pounds a night. Mm. Great. I was staying in one place. Mm. I was staying in one place in town, it was 19 pounds a night, and it was like a, you know, great, like, it's like a four star hotel, perfect. So yeah, it's mm. been amazing. Um, but yeah, you've got to come to us though. Uh, yeah. We'll go, I'll take you to, I'll take you to, we can, you can go skiing, you're walking. You come in summer, we go to the beaches, but you have to come to the north. I have to go mm. north, like to Lofoten. That's beautiful, mm. really beautiful. Mm. But we'll go back to Leeds. We can go back to England mm. and say hi to people there. Track down Bessio, Sam. Yeah. All the, Sam asked after you a lot, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He'll be happy. Mm. He'll be happy that this is going. On. You see, there you go. You see, you can say hello to Sam. There you go. That's why I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> look, look who I found. I'm dying. This is amazing. And now I say penis butter. Say penis butter. Penis butter. There you go. <laughs> Japanese people can't say peanut butter. It's so funny. Penis butter. Um, but we can go. Uh, we're going to the Tokyo Sky Tree now, which is interesting. And Daisuke lives in Tokyo and has never been there, even though it's been built since like <laughs> for ages. Awesome. Well, that wraps up this uh, this section. I don't know what the point of filming this was exactly, but I'm glad I did. So yeah, say bye. Bye. Sign up.